continuing on the sex topic, sex. Yeah. Yes, please. No, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> one thing you did that you're very proud of, and it's mentioned, is uh, can you hold up the magazines? It's online now. Sure. Yes, it is online. But it started out as a very simple black and white newsletter, actually. The first issue was in the winter of 1994. So it's been around for quite well, a while. Well, you got up to 3.1 million. Yes, the numbers are huge. So kids wanted to read it. Oh, absolutely. They, it was an enormous success. Why do you think? Kids written, could it kids te wrote? It teens, teens talking to teens oh. about a very difficult subject that often adults are uncomfortable talking to them about. And I, I first tried it out when I was at a, I was asked to speak to a group of young women at Douglas College. And I said that we were thinking about starting a newsletter written by teens for teens about the subject of se uh, sex. And I said, if any of you think it's a good idea and would want to work on something like this, please come up and see me after this session is over. I really believe that at the most two or three people would come. When we stopped, it looked as though the, a tsunami was about to hit me. All the young women stood up and rushed up to the front of the room and said to me, please, please do this. Kids, we talk to each other about this subject all the time. We're so eager for correct information because we want to act responsibly. This would be a wonderful way to educate uh, all of us. So I went home, I went back to the office and said, you know, we're going to do this, you know. Can you I, show it again? Because also, who designed it? It's so, you, you want to read it. It's colorful, it's bright. The articles are short, but to the yeah. point. Also, I think, in my opinion, if I can editorialize, can. they're talking about they're talking about things that people really want to talk about. Yes. And it, but it's a safe way to talk, because they can just have read it. Yeah. But, it's, yeah. but also, I think, one, I showed this to some kids, and you know what they said to me? I'm not alone now. Oh, I'm isn't not that alone wonderful. because they didn't have anyone to talk to. Yes. Oh, one had like a very conservative Latin mom, and That's she wouldn't okay. talk about. She would no, she wouldn't talk about sex. Yeah, of course not. But this helps, you know. And the I think it's the best title. It was an offer. It was offered in, by a young woman whose name. I never learned, ne never knew, and to whom we owe a Brilliant we marketing. Are, yes, I know. <laughs> anyway, no, it, it, it was very, very successful. And uh, I hope, I don't know how successful it is, you know, online. I don't know if teachers assign it. What, I, I like the idea of using a paper copy in a classroom, whereas, if you, if you pick up something online, it's not quite the same. No, you know, you don't, people really don't discuss it. They d don't bring up points that they haven't thought of. I mean, I know that teachers who, by the way, health educators really get very, they each should have, before they get certified, should have a basic course in human sexuality. But this was helpful to them. They could read it before they went into the classroom. So it was really educating two groups of people. And so I like that aspect. I don't know whether the internet does that as effective. Well, I haven't gone online. What do you think of this trans thing? Do you think it's detracting? Because it, I have to be honest with you, trans, everyone should be treated right, but it's not a big population. Is it, is it kind of like uh, taken away from uh, the conversation of other more, I think, pro things you should prioritize about sex? Yes, I think, it, I, I don't, certainly it should be discussed. Yes, yeah, it's, it's part of the world. Yes, yeah. but it shouldn't. I think the people who are generally against this subject are using it to, to get, to frighten. Again, it's, they're frightened. frightening right, people. Right, right. Yeah. But it is, you know, I think people have to be aware of it. You can talk about it. For instance, the whole, the one thing that that is sort of left out of the K-3 curriculum was the fact that families are not just made up of males and females. I mean, they're males and males and females and females. And that 
was not not part of this curriculum, mm -hmm. but I would certainly add it to today. Yeah, you know? that was but, ahead of its time. In the yeah, 70s, but, if you yeah. said that, oh my gosh. I mean, you know, the numbers, you know, Heather Has Two Mommies, right. a wonderful book that ought to be read in classrooms and discussed, and people, you know, people really want to know various things. The other thing is, when you teach kids, you should always ask them, what do they know? Rather than, teachers sometimes think, oh, I had to have a long conversation. If somebody says, oh, how was I born? Or where was I born? This is a story somebody tell. Where was I, how was I born? And the mother th is in a car, usually, is, and it mm, thinks, right. oh my God, I'm now going to have to explain, you know, where she was located, how she got out. I've been, uh, the, the harried mother with three kids, I've been there. I was one of those kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the answer, you know, the answer quite, that the kid finally says, no, no, I want to know what town I was born yeah, in. True, true. What, <laughs> I don't want to know all the other I things. I want to know no, no one if I was born with clothes on, I remember. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> But you're very. But you good. were lucky. You had a father. Who, you know, he told me he you know, he testified in behalf. Oh of yeah, I don't. Yes, yeah, yeah. And he he told me the number of kids that he talked to about base. He gave them basic facts about human reproduction. Yeah. You know that that their parents. You know, we're, we're postponing, you're too young, they were anxious about, you know, if I tell you you're going to do, you're going to explore, you're gonna, no, you're not. Yeah. No, you're not. That's yeah, right. the, old, great. the old Puritan thing's still strong in this country, though, too. Like, oh, I know. like you know, Madonna, like, of course sex is great, but my daughter, I'm not going to discuss it with my daughter. You know, something like that. It's it's in our craw. Yeah, he he has. But yeah, I, good point. What you said. Ask what they know first. You'd be yes, surprised what they know. It, because they ex they will tell you if you say to a child something about how do you think you got here, yeah. and then they'll say, uh, no, I don't know. I took the, you took the uh, you flew here, or mm -hmm. they'd say something that's just totally off base. But it gives you clarity. Yes, and right. it gives you and it gives you time. Right. <laughs> so anyway. Right.